Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today's message is taken from the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 8 verses 10. Let's hear the reading of God's word. Go and celebrate with the feast of rich food and sweet drinks and share gifts of food with people who have nothing. This is a sacred day before our Lord. Don't be dejected and sad, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the reading of the law, the people rediscover the Feast of Tabernacles. This is a weeks long festival during which the children of Israel lived in shelters made from branches and palms. The festival is a thanksgiving for the wilderness journey which brought the Israelite into the promised land. Living in shelters is a reminder of a simple life of daily trust in God. Having found the instructions, they celebrate as never before. Living in shelters is a reminder of a simple life of daily trust in God. My dear brothers and sisters, we have just gone through another phase of lockdown. We have gone through being confined into our own homes. Well, we are about to be let out and let loose. <laughs> During this lockdown, many people have gone through the wilderness of loss of job, the wilderness of loss of finances, the wilderness of pain, the wilderness of sorrow, the wilderness of distress. Well, tomorrow, this wilderness is about to end. The wilderness that we've been through this second lockdown, and indeed, in the first lockdown, that wilderness is coming to an end we will be allowed to go about our daily business. We will be allowed to do, come out and do the things that we love to do. So here God is promising us today, go and celebrate with the feast of rich food and sweet drinks and share the gift of food with people who have nothing prepared. For this is a sacred day before our Lord. Don't be dejected, neither be sad, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. During this time of Advent and in this first week of Advent, I want you to remember one thing. Whenever you face any challenges, remember that the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. So as you go through this preparation period before Christmas, as we go through this advent in this pandemic, remember that you celebrate with rich food and sweet drinks. Remember to share those food with people who have nothing prepared. And remember that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Let me pray for you before I leave you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. We thank you for the gift of freedom. And so we thank you that the lockdown is about to be lifted tomorrow. I pray that you remind us all the time that the joy of the Lord is our strength. May you be with us in this time of Advent as we prepare to welcome your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, my dear friends, I shall see you on Thursday in the church building. Our church building is opened. You can come in and enjoy in the solemn service of our midweek Holy Communion. Please bring your friends along. Come, let us celebrate the feast meeting God in the breaking of the bread. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom.
Peace. Ha, 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 ha.